So today we're going to talk about what are the causes of low blood pressure. Now, someone's goal might be to achieve low blood pressure, but there's a point where it becomes too low and you feel dizzy and you don't quite feel right. So we're going to discuss the different reasons for that. Number one, postural hypotension. This is a condition where you stand up too fast and you feel dizzy and you have to sit down. A lot of people have experienced this, especially if you're, let's say you just stopped working out um, after you went for a jog and it was really hot outside, so you're slightly dehydrated, and let's say you didn't sleep that well, and let's say the night before you went out drinking and you're a little hungover, well, you're probably going to have this right here. And what's happening is a part of the nervous system called the autonomic nervous system is not adapting for this positional change when you stand up and you lose oxygen. So some people can even faint. Now there's a very severe version of that called POTS, which I did a video on and I put a link down below. And this is really low vitamin B1. And so I recommend the person taking higher amounts of B1 and that can greatly improve this. And it also supports the heart as well, because if your heart is weak, that can actually cause low blood pressure. And I put that down here. And it just so happens that vitamin B1 is essential for keeping the heart working correctly. If you're low in B1, you can even actually cause the heart to work harder and develop um, something called cardiomegaly, which is an enlarged heart. Um, but adrenal fatigue uh, can definitely cause postural hypotension and even be behind POTS because the adrenal is the stress gland and it adapts to all forms of stress including just the mild stress of standing up. All right, so now let's go to the next one, dehydration. Now, I wanna differentiate dehydration from low salt. They're not exactly the same thing. However, they can cross over. Now, some people can be dehydrated without having a deficiency of salt because dehydration is really just their missing fluid, okay? So it, it could happen when you exercise too much in heat, but then again, you're also gonna lose salt but depending on how much salt you have in your reserves, it could be more or less. Um, or let's say you uh, had vomiting or diarrhea or diuretics. That can put you in a state of dehydration, which you just need to drink more fluid. Um, and not having enough fluid can actually cause low blood pressure. Then we have a situation which is low salt. And because we have low salt, we're not able to hold the fluid in the body. And you're peeing it out. So salt helps you retain, hopefully, the right amount of fluid. And so this could come from um, actually taking way too much potassium and not enough sodium. It could also come from starting the ketogenic diet and you're losing all this fluid, yet you're not putting back in the electrolytes in the fluid. Uh, also uh, exercising and just sweating out uh, a lot of these electrolytes because when you sweat, you're gonna sweat out more sodium than potassium, but you are gonna sweat out both of those electrolytes. All right, the next one is Addison's. This is a, a real severe adrenal condition. It's autoimmune where the adrenal glands are just not working anymore. And you're getting a massive sodium uh, deficiency because the adrenals, specifically aldosterone, is needed to retain salt. And so in these cases, you need to be taking salt like all day long. And part of this is related to anemia too. So if you're anemic, you can have low blood pressure. Uh, that could be low iron. It could be uh, low B12. It could be other things as well. Then number seven, postprandial. That means after you eat, the blood pressure drops. Now, remember when I talked about the autonomic nervous system? Well, in this situation, the autonomic nervous system helps to control blood flow, whether it's to your digestive system uh, or to the extremities when you're working out. So if you have a weakness within the autonomic nervous system um, and you eat and all the blood is shunted to your digestive system and away from your brain, uh, you're gonna feel kind of dizzy when you eat. And that just means you have a weakness within the autonomic nervous system. If you have that situation, I put a link down below for more information on what to do about it. And then number nine, we already reviewed this, anemia. Now, one last thing about this postural hypotension. Uh, there's a very simple test that's not related to low blood pressure per se, but it's related to adrenal issues, okay, and the autonomic nervous system. So what you do is you take your blood pressure sitting down, okay? It should be 120 over 80. And then you take your blood pressure when you're standing, okay? And you're looking at, primarily with this test, the top number. It normally should go up to adapt for gravity stress, right? Well, 
if your adrenals are weak, it'll drop down. If it drops down to six to 10 points, then there's definitely an issue with the adrenal gland because the adrenal gland is not adapting to that stress. And then you can actually further investigate what could be behind that. All right, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.